Hi guys, welcome to this whole guard. Today we are going to be fixing the scaling issue on Windows for a 4K monitor. Now what happens is like when you plug your monitor, uh, Windows will set it up for the native resolution, which is 3840 by 2160. But the problem is that the icons and text and menus and all the stuff will be significantly small, almost unreadable. And my screen it's not showing that because I already fixed it, but I'm gonna uh, show you how I did it. So, the first thing that you wanna do is right click on your desktop and then click on display settings. Once you're here, I have two screens, but in case you have one or more, you select the screen that you are going to be uh, doing these changes. And in case you don't know which screen is your 4K, you can click here and identify. And here, as you can see, it's, it's, it's telling me, I'm sorry, it's telling me that this is the screen number one. So we know it's screen number one. And now we are going to look for the scale and layout. We are going to click on this drop menu and select, uh, I personally recommend between, between 150 and 200%. I like 175%. For me, that's like a balance scaling. Uh, however, it's up to you what you like the most. I won't be doing the changes because I already did this, but you are going to select, of course, which uh, percentage you want. And after after that, you will see here a red text that it says um, that you have to sign out in order for the changes to take effect on the applications. And you want to do that. So you want to sign out and then sign in. So click start, sign out. So once you did these changes, um, you will definitely see that some applications got actually fixed. However, some of them won't be fixed. And that's the case for my fireworks um, program here. I'm gonna show you how this looks. Um, the problem with this application is that the text on the menu is very, very, very small. I can't read, I wear glasses, and for me, it's impossible to work with, it, with this. And everything in the icons is so tiny, but don't worry, what we're gonna do is close the application and you are going to identify what application uh, you're having the issue with. Then right click on the shortcut or in case you don't have a shortcut, let's go and look for the uh, executable file on the Windows and the program files folders. But once you identify what application you're going to be dealing with, you're going to right click on it, go to properties, and then you are going to look for the compatibility tab. Click on the compatibility tab. And here on the bottom, look for what it says, change high DPI settings. So you're going to right click here and then select here where it says override high DPI scaling behavior and scaling performed by, we are going to select this. And then here on the drop down menu, click on it and select system. Now override high DPI scaling behavior, yada yada, system. Now we're going to click on OK. Now apply these changes and OK again. And now we are going to test our application to see if this problem of the small text and the small icons got fixed. So double click on our application and I can already see this is bigger and bingo. Here we have a nicer menu with more, uh, with a clearer text and the, the size is better, the icons, the scale for me, this is beautiful. I can now work comfortably and get my uh, stuff done with this application. Okay guys, so I hope this uh, video helped you fix the issue with uh, the general Windows settings. And if that didn't work for some applications, that the process of doing the changes here with the applications, as I mentioned, going to properties, compatibility, change high DPI settings and selecting this override, and the system here on the drop down menu. I hope that that fix the issue with the specific um, applications and that you have now a more comfortable layout for your Windows operating system and for every program that you have. Thank you for watching guys. Uh, thumbs up for this video if you like it, thumbs down if you don't like it. Let me know in the comments if this worked for you. If, it, if this didn't work for you, also let me know. And let's see if we can uh, find some other solution to help you out. Uh, again, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.